Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about parallax method. So the first thing we need to know is what is parallax. So parallax is the apparent shift in the position of an object with respect to another when we shift our eyes or point of observation sideways. So let there is an ob object at point O. Now let us choose two point of observations A and B. And there is a screen behind the object. So if you observe the object from the point of observation A, then its image will form at A prime. And if you perform the observation from the point of observation B, then its image will form at B prime. So as you can see, there is a there is an apparent shift in the position of the images uh, as we choose two different point of observations, and this apparent shift is called the parallax. And this distance. AB is called the base and it is denoted by B. The angle formed between these two point of observation A and B is called the parallactic angle and it is denoted by theta. Therefore, AB is the base which is equals to B and angle AOB is equals to theta which is parallactic angle. Now, if one knows theta and the base B, then one can measure the distance AO. By using this formula, theta is equals to arc over radius. Obviously, uh, this is valid only when theta is very small in our case. And the same thing can be applied to measure the distance of a star from earth. So let there is a star at the point P. Now uh, two point of observations are chosen as the two positions of earth on its orbital. So let a and B are the two positions of Earth after six months on its orbital, and uh, these are the two point of observations. So we want to determine the distance of this point P from Earth, that is the from point A. So let the distance is h. Now uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the parallactic angle, that is the angle APB. Okay, so this is our first aim to find this angle. So to find this, we uh, need to choose two reference points, uh, two very distant stars S and S prime, whose positions and directions with respect to R is always fixed. And let their distances be H prime. So now we need to find the angles S A P and S prime B P. These two angles. If we can determine or measure these two angles, then we can find the parallactic angle very easily. So let these two angles are theta 1 and theta 2. Now draw a perpendicular PD on the axis on the line AB. So as you can see, SA and PD are the two parallel lines. Therefore, if SAP is theta 1, then APD will also be theta 1 as they are alternate internal angles. Okay, so this is theta 1 and it is also true for angle DPB which is equals to S prime BP which are also alternate internal angles. Therefore, we have angle APD is equals to angle SAP is theta 1 and angle BPD which is also equals to S prime BP which is theta 2. Therefore, parallactic angle theta will be sum over uh, sum of these two angles theta 1 and theta 2. So this is the angle APB and we have AB is the base which is B and AP is H the distance of the star from R. So now we can apply this formula theta is equals to arc over radius which is equals to B over H or H is B over theta and using this formula we can determine the distance of the star from R. So this is the parallax method. Also using this method, one can measure the diameter of the moon. So let AB be the diameter of the moon. Now let us choose a point of observation on R, say it is O. And from O, with a telescope, we can measure the parallactic angle by focusing on the two points A and B. So let the parallactic angle is AOB, which is theta and AB is D, which is 
the diameter of the moon and now we can apply the formula theta is equals to a b by o a which is equals to d over s or d is equals to theta times s so by using this formula linear, linear diameter which is d which is equals to distance times angular diameter one can measure the diameter of the moon so to determine this we need to know s and theta obviously so if one knows theta and s then he can measure the diameter so that's all for this video see you in the next one